All right, thanks so much, Steve. Well, a price increase without warning. That's what the state attorney general says made him write a letter to the manufacturer of nasal naloxone. It's the heroin antidote that hundreds of first responders now carry. And the attorney general says that increase came without explanation in the middle of a public health emergency. CBS 6's Tori Wells spoke with local first responders about this increase they've seen. And Tori, what are they saying? Well, the attorney general rolled out a program earlier this year to help law enforcement pay for kits like this and to train on them. And those first responders I spoke with today told me the price they pay for this has doubled. That has the attorney general raising questions this evening. You put this end of it in a patient's nostril and you squirt some of the drug in. This is naloxone, also known as the heroin antidote drug. Mike Russo at Mohawk Ambulance has carried it for years, and it's helped him revive people who have overdosed. People's breathing gets better. Um, if they weren't breathing, they start breathing. He says 33 have been used this year so far, down from last year, but the cost just went up. The last order we placed was in September. Uh, if we ordered it today, the cost would be 2.2 times higher. Just this week, New York's Attorney General Eric Schneiderman sent this letter to the company that makes nasal naloxone, expressing concern over the price increase. He gave examples, like a police department that paid about $15 for a dose in August that's now selling for $34.50. The AG is asking for an explanation. We wanted to make sure that our deputies have it and are trained in it. And they're carrying it. And now, uh, you know, we find out this week that the price has basically doubled. Albany County Sheriff Craig Apple told me it's important for his deputies to have the drug, especially in rural areas where it could take time for medical help to come. It's important and it could save a life. Sheriff Apple says the cost increase will hurt, especially smaller departments. But cutting back won't be an option. I'll find a way to, um, to fund it um, because I, I, I believe in it and I think it's necessary that we have it. Now, to be clear, some departments receive grants for the drug from the state, so the state will feel that increase. Some departments buy their own, so the increase will be felt at a local level. Now, I did try to call the company twice today, but I have not heard back. Coming up tonight at 6, how the sheriff says this price increase could impact families as well. I'm in the studio, Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.